Welcome to four stacks. Today we are going to see a simple flow. Um, it's, it's a auto launch flow. We are going to trigger uh, this flow using um, process builder as usual. This flow just uh, we uh, just to try to delete uh, child records uh, from the parent record, the appropriate uh, parent record based on the condition. So I pull a auto launch flow and get records, delete the uh, rejected contact from that account. I just give a name for that uh, get record uh, component. The object name is contact. The condition should be um id is a record id all records from the contact account id oh sorry i have to give that um, filter the id equal to record id record id should be a text variable account id so variable so text variable this is the variable we are going to pull from a process builder we will, we will see later in the same video the contact status should be rejected that there might be some different uh, status also but we are going to delete the rejected contacts not other contacts like a close or open those contacts we are not going to touch yep finished so we are going to pull that a uh, loop uh, once we pull that uh, con all contacts, rejected contacts, we are going to run one by one for deleting. Um, first, we put that contacts into the um, uh, loop variable. So give a name for that. Uh, collect the rejected contacts in that loop. We get that um, multiple variables in there. And again, from the multiple variable, we are going to put the single vari record variable. Give a name for that appropriate name like uh, get contact contacts. It's a, just a single uh, record variable which is in a loop. That's it. Uh, it's a uh, object from contact. Once you finish this one, we are going to pull uh, uh, assignment component connect with a loop then you pull that assignment component once you get that um, record variable single record variable we can't delete from the record variable we have to keep that in a um, uh, separate variable text variable or somewhere uh, the id should be a text then uh, then only we can pull that into a delete uh, component then we can delete easily give a name for that assignment component delete one by one contact from account give a variable text variable this should be a text variable delete contacts any any name you can give but definitely we have we have we have to use the same name in a delete component i'll give here del contact so text variable that's it equal to uh, the get contact which which is coming from uh, the loop uh, record variable single single record variable dot id which is contact id yeah then we are going to pull the delete component given name so once uh, once you you pull that uh, uh, very uh, rec contact id um, we'll check as a rejected or not if it is a rejected it will get, get into the loop 
the, uh, then loop it will assign to the um, particular uh, variable then uh, then ne next step is we are going to delete that contact from this uh, this component again it will check the next round if there is uh, any other rejected contact then again it will it will go up to end of that um, uh, list so we pull that from the contact the filter this is the important thing the filter should be the contact id equal to the del contact which is in the assignment um, component del contact that's it and connect uh, to the assignment delete to loop it will it will go up to end uh, if there is a 10 uh, record it, it will run uh, 10 times give a name for that flow basically it's a deleting a child record uh, from the parent record based on based on that filter condition once you save that we are going to um, we are going to start that uh, process builder uh, to trigger this uh, flow the auto launch flow we have to trigger from the process builder only so let's go to um, first activate that flow then go go to the process builder now the condition should be um, whenever uh, a customer or user going to um, select the delete uh, rejected contact I create one checkbox if you select that immediately the uh, the process builder will trigger trigger that auto launch flow the flow will run uh, from there so we are going to set up that process builder now the, I just give a specific name like delete the specific child record from the uh, parent record I will once I complete this process builder I will run this um, sample how it going to be run so then we can clearly understand what's going on Record change Pull account. If there is any change, if if particular change happen in account, I'm going to trigger that flow. Yeah, whenever record created and edited, the condition is and delete contact. the rejected contract actually the condition is delete the rejected contact there is a checkbox if you select the checkbox the trigger will uh, um, trigger will happen then flow will run basically yeah I'm going to add that flow now flows give a name next time I'm going I'm going to write this uh, names all names into the uh, notepad and I'm going to copy back because it's taking long time delete the rejected contacts by flow I can save next time time tell it yeah this is the flow which we created recently oh uh, should be the flow variable uh, pop up on the downside but something wrong in that flow you're going back to the flow now you're going to check is there any I supposed to give uh, the input variable um, the record variable um, the record ID should be the input variable I might uh, miss that I will check that manager 
check the record ID yeah yeah available for the input I haven't done that before yeah now it will be okay just um, activate again go back to the, the process builder now uh, now definitely is fine because um, I haven't given that available for the input uh, that's why it's not pop up that uh, flow variable uh, thing in the downside delete contacts I give a simple name just pick that flow yeah this is what I want um, yeah the set flow variables the record ID the, yeah this is the record ID we did that in a process uh, flow so this record ID should match with that account ID that, that, that particular account ID uh, then we are going to check that uh, uh, contact what are the contacts and uh, rejected status yes it's a simple thing just save it I have I have done similar thing in a different video also for the different scenario actually activate that process builder now we are going to test that um, basically um, I'll show you that a sample go back to um, account I already created one account with the five contacts um, yeah these are the five contacts I'll, I'll open another uh, tab also for uh, separately account and contact yeah these are the five contacts before I'll show that uh, field which field I'm going to update the delete the rejected contact if I select that we have to verify what are the rejected contacts uh, basically we have a three rejected contact should be deleted uh, once if I select that this thing definitely have to delete it that's what we did now so I'm going to um, select that save it now I'm going to check that contact is um, as I refresh it um yeah see uh, those uh, delayed rejected contacts already deleted yeah it's a simple uh, a sample of uh, flow uh, we can do many things like that thanks for watching um,